portrait photography rather than commercial work? Ah, good question. Um, I would say it would have to be the people that you deal with because when you're shooting for a commercial job, the people are being paid to be there. So sometimes they're, the, they're there for just the work. They don't really could care less where when you're shooting portraits, the people are there because they want to be there because they want their picture taken. That's a huge difference in the way people react to you. Um, in starting a portrait studio, what was one of the main things that you wanted to accomplish or wanted to have available to your clients? Um, I think the main thing was just using my skill set and all my years of experience to give them something they couldn't get anywhere else. I mean, my whole, our whole studio, I say our because I'm talking to Essie here, um, is all about high end and luxury. So we go after the clients that really care about photography. So we have to have the best products. And we use, you know, we use different things for our hooks, like albums are huge at the studio. I mean, we base kind of all our packages on albums, so. That's it, probably, give, probably like telling a story with the album too, you know, giving them something that's like a keepsake. When did I go bald? Um, that would probably be in my like early 30s probably. I started going because I used to bleach my hair. <laughs> Believe it or not, I had hair at one point. I used to bleach it, make it blonde, green, pink. That's the stuff that a lot of people, you don't know about this, a lot of people don't know. I used to paint my fingernails black, had earrings. I was kind of a little wild child there for a little while. That was before you were born, Essie. So, yeah, 30s, early 30s. And There's been a few. Oh, 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 I know what it is. I did a photo shoot for a modeling agency in a small town here in Portland, or outside of Portland in Oregon. This was when I first started my career, and I was going to head over to Italy, so I needed money. So they wanted me to shoot, I don't know, like 20 models or something like that over a week. And then all of a sudden it became 40 models and 50 models. And they called and asked if I could have another makeup artist come so I could do double the amount. And I have no idea how many models I shot, but all I know, on day five, I was actually in tears. I thought I was a horrible photographer because I was shooting just these horrible girls that had no reason to be models, and the modeling school was just sending them to me. I made a ton of money, but I literally, when I left for Milan, I didn't even want to pick up my camera. I just felt like I was a horrible shooter. Because it's, it's hard, it's like, that's one thing, when you're a photographer, it's really easy to shoot beautiful people that you're into, but a real photographer can make a person that they absolutely cannot stand look good. That's a real photographer, to me, anyway. That's my opinion. Oh, really? You want to know where I've lived? Okay. Let's go through the list. Portland, Oregon. Actually, I was born in North Dakota. There's something you don't know. Well, born in North Dakota. Then I looked at my dad when I was four and said, we got to move. So we moved to Oregon. Then from Oregon, I moved to, went to Milan and Germany. Okay, then I came back from there. Then I went, okay, I gotta go somewhere else. So I went to Greece, lived there. Then I came back from there and I went, I don't wanna live in Oregon anymore. So I literally packed up everything I owned and moved to Miami. And all I had was a name of a, uh, a little piece of paper of a modeling agent. Had no idea of any clients or anything. And I got there and I'm like, what do you mean they don't hire photographers from Miami? they fly them in for the season. So it was a little tough. I had to cold call every ad agency in Miami to get work. That was, that was a good character building experience. Um, then from there, went to London, because I was working a lot for London magazines in Miami, and then came to New York. And then got my butt kicked there, butt kicked there for about a year, and then finally started making some good money. And then moved out to Long Island, New Jersey, and back to Oregon, and now probably back to New York again, so. Oh really, that's fascinating, Essie. I didn't know that about you. Wow, you're fascinating. Oh, that's so nice of you to say that. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I like my haircut too, I know, that's amazing.
Oh, you're so funny. Thank you so much. <laughs> really? You, let, you think of this black makes me look slim? Really? That's nice. You know, I try really hard not to work out. Because I find if you work out, you just hurt. Really? What else? Oh, really? Really? That's fascinating. Okay, we're done with this. Turn that thing off. <laughs>